Recently, the Supreme Court released a bulletin covering the COVID-19 protocols for the 2022 bar examinations. Let's take a look at some of the key features of the said bulletin. But first off, let me thank all those who have subscribed and supported this channel for the past month. Thank you for taking the time to view the contents and commenting, especially those who are uh, giving us love and those who are expressing their appreciation for the contents. Maraming salamat. So, let's proceed. First important point is the protocol applies to all the local testing centers. Before examinations, the examinee is required to self-quarantine from October 26, 2022 or at least two weeks before the bar examinations and until the last day thereof. Next, bar operations or gathering of individuals as a form of support to the examinees are prohibited. So, bar examinations are barred, pun intended. Next, examinees and personnel will be required to sign a liability waiver. This will be sent to the registered email of the bar examinees. Next, for every examination day, all examinees must present the applicable documents upon entry to their assigned local testing sites or centers. What are these documents? First, for fully vaccinated examinees, COVID-19 vaccination cards are required, specifically those for two-dose vaccines as the examinee have received a second dose or single dose vaccines, proof of having received his single dose will suffice. Take note in testing centers in the cities of Davao and Pasay, at least one booster dose are considered fully vaccinated. For unvaccinated examinees, they may present COVID-19 vaccine cards with a negative RT-PCR result or a negative antigen result, both from DOH accredited testing facilities. Take note that the specimen for RT-PCR and antigen should be taken 48 and 24 hours respectively before 4 a.m. of November 9, 13, 16, and 20, 2022 as applicable. Unvaccinated examinees are required to present either a negative RT-PCR test result or a negative antigen test result. Take note that in the local testing centers in Cagayan de Oro City and Davao City, they have to present a negative RT-PCR test result. An antigen result is uh, not sufficient. For local testing centers in Naga City and Cebu City, a negative result of the RT-PCR or antigen test is required despite or notwithstanding the policy of the local government unit. For recovered cases, these are examinees who have contracted COVID-19 from October 9, 2022 to October 30, 2022 and no longer show any symptoms. They are required to present a negative RT-PCR test result or a negative antigen test result plus a certification of the completion of the required isolation or quarantine period from their LGUs. A negative result from a self-administered antigen test kit will not be honored. For examinees 
with positive antigen or RT-PCR COVID-19 test results, they are encouraged to inform the office of the bar chair immediately through the following email address. Now during the bar examinations, here are the following protocols. First, venue specific guidelines will be sent to the emails of the bar examinees. Second, no loitering in the local testing site's entrance. Examinees who exhibit any flu-like symptoms, such as body temperature of over 37.5 degrees Celsius, heavy cough or shortness of breath, they will be assessed by the medical staff on site and may be required to undergo emergency antigen testing. The examinees who present a positive COVID-19 test result whether symptomatic or asymptomatic, will be denied entry to the local testing site. Must the positive yung result, whether or not symptomatic or asymptomatic, the examinee will be denied entry. The examinees who are denied entry will be required to undergo quarantine based on the LGU's protocols. Ano naman yung kaibahan dito? Uh, Doon sa nauna, kasi ito na sila bago pa sila pumasok. Dito, sa, asymptom- sa symptomatic examinees, may prenesent sila ng negative antigen or RT-PCR uh, COVID result. Pero they, they have symptoms of, they have flu-like symptoms. Here, they are assessed by the on-site medical staff and if emergency antigen is needed ito mangyayari if the result is positive the examinee will be requested to leave the local testing site immediately when the result is negative the symptomatic examinee may be taken to a separate quarantine testing room where they will take their exams separately here on the second part their movements will be closely monitored. Sa symptomatic examinees, a positive result will prevail over any prior negative COVID-19 test result. This advice to yeah, boost up your immune system para hindi kayo siponin, hindi kayo ubuhin, hindi kayo lagnatin. Come bar examination days. Next, face mask. The general rule, the examinees and personnel shall properly wear their face mask at all times. Bawal tanggalin. Except, pwede lang siya tanggalin when eating or drinking. Next, they are not allowed to take off their face mask or wear poorly fitted ones. So... Make sure na you wear them properly. Otherwise, baka sitahin kayo. For face mask, allowed yung triple layer cloth face mask, surgical face mask under cloth face masks, N95 mask, KN95 mask, or KF94 mask. Bawal naman ang copper mask, mask with valves, mask using bluetooth, wifi, uh, or any data sharing technology and last, yung mask na gamit ng any light or sound dahil baka makaabala kayo for air purification devices, allowed lang siya if they do not use bluetooth, wifi, or any data sharing technology it's not allowed if it emits any light or sound or smoke that may disturb other examinees. Ito ay importante. No contact rule. It applies to all examinees and personnel. Protocol is at least one meter away from the other person. And number two, refrain from speaking as soon as they enter the local testing center. Bawal makipag-usap. Next, the examinees are discouraged from talking to call the proctor's attention. They should uh, raise their hands instead. 
Next, the examinees are required to bring their own food and drinks. They are not allowed to first go out of the local testing site during lunch break and second, they are not allowed to receive food or drinks from outsiders throughout the examination day. So, bago pa lang kayo pumasok, dapat dala nyo na yung food nyo and make sure na yung kakainin nyo, pwede nyo siyang kainin without utensils kasi may possibility na i-confiscate yung mga utensils nyo bago pa kayo pumasok ng testing site for security purposes. Again, next. Examinees must eat their lunch separately from each other. Talking to other examinees is discouraged. Mahirap na. Follow these rules strictly. Mahirap na. After the examinations, here the examinees will not be allowed to loiter in the egress area and will be advised to leave the premises. So, yan. Normally kasi pagkatapos na exam ay mga examinees na nagkukumpul-kumpulan at nagde-discuss kung ano yung mga sinagot nila sa mga exam number or ano sa specific part ng exam so this is discouraged ayaw ng ano muna kayo magkumpul-kumpul dun sa exit or dun sa paglabas nyo ng ano ng bar site uwi na kayo, pahinga na kayo 3 days lang ang pahinga Next, the examinees are encouraged to continue self-quarantine after each examination day. Yun. So again, be vigilant, protect yourself. Apat na examination day yan. Kailangan nyo mag-quarantine, kailangan nyo magpalakas, kailangan nyo, you have to stay healthy. So there, there's your COVID-19 protocol for the 2022 bar examinations. Be reminded that all official statements about the bar exam will only come from official channels. So you, so if you hear rumors, don't believe them until you've seen an official statement. Of course, the best way to make sure that you're up to date on the latest information is to monitor your bar plus account and your bar plus registered email addresses that way you won't miss anything important in the meantime just focus on preparing for the exams to the best of your abilities that's all you can do and that's all that really matters again monitor your bar plus registered email addresses and check for official announcements before believing anything you hear Good luck everyone and we are all rooting for you.